Hi, I'm James Lambden with Electroprop. I'm here to show you our new serial hybrid. We build these systems to be powerful for performance, efficient for range, and very safe. So let's take a look. First thing you'll notice, everything is in blue anodized enclosures. These enclosures act as Faraday's cages so the systems are hardened for a lightning strike. I feel that's a very important thing for a blue water cruiser or any boat. You'll also notice the enclosures protect from water ingress, salt air ingress. It provides cooling as well. And this is the energy system here. We're gonna start over here with our cooling duct. Since these systems can also be used in cold air or cold weather areas, these could be used for heating as well as cooling. So it's more like climate control for the battery pack. You'll notice here, this is our safety cutoff switch. It's on the negative. We fuse the positive, and switch the negative. So when the negative is off, everything is off. Coming around the corner here, you'll see our main power wires are coming through strain release, which are waterproof when fully tightened. There's additional strain release for the options. Here you'll see our battery monitor. It's sitting right now at uh, 53 volts and 0.3 amps, 8.9 amps. Our amp hours are out of the battery pack right now. 92.6% is remaining, and that gives a time to go of actually more than 240 amp hour, or 240 hours. Here you'll see our switches. This switch here turns the balancer on at the same time as the charger and this turns on the inverter. You'll notice that we have provided lifting hooks. These lifting hooks can be removed once the battery is installed. So that there is our energy system. We use North Star pure lead carbon batteries, very efficient batteries. They charge rapidly. They last a long time. We're getting 10 to 15 years out of our battery packs and they stay in balance a long time as well, which provides for long life of the battery as well. So that's our energy system. Moving right along, this is the sailor drive. We've been building the sailor drive for many years now, almost 10 years, I think. And you'll notice we have a screen on here. I'm gonna boot it up, turn it off and, and boot it up here for you. There we are, opens with a nice splash screen, electroprop, and then it goes to the digital display. In big type, we give you your battery current and voltage. In small, we give the temperature of the motor, the AC currents of the motor, and the RPM of the motor. There's other nice options inside that screen. You'll notice our cooling's coming in through a four inch duct here, which could also be through here or through here. You'll notice that there is one big giant hatch. We call this the controller hatch. This is the fuse box hatch. This is the gearbox hatch. So there is lots of access for all the different components for, for being able to get inside the drive unit. You'll notice over here, we have our throttle, forward and reverse. And over here, we have our on and off switch. Power comes out of the gearbox here. So we should also look at the lifting rails that we have. These mounting rails here have our motor mounts on it. Lots of adjustment in the motor mount. The rail has five different positions right up and down the body. So a lot of adjustment here. The motor mount can go back and forth two inches or you can have a slim motor mount put on if you have a very narrow enclosure. So, we're gonna take a look in the first floor here, and it opens up like that. Notice that this is the pivot point for the wiring, wiring harness. We're using really high quality cables. This is the throttle, and you'll notice that the throttle plug is inside a sealed enclosure. You'll also notice we're using really good quality cables that have O-ring seals, and they're all grounded as well. In here is our fuse box. We have our fuses and, and our relay. Just a note about fuses here. All Electroprop 
products can be used on floating systems. A floating system is when you don't ground the negative on board the boat, but you do have to do two things. You have to have a ground fault monitor and you have to have fusing or double pole breakers on both the positive and the negative because on a floating system, each wire is treated as a live wire. So moving right along here, this is the controller. We use the Sevcon controller. Just amazing company to work with, very reliable controllers, really in incredible equipment. We're gonna take off our spout fan here. You'll notice it's hooked on with two waterproof fuses. If I open one up here, you'll see inside the fuse, these are ceramic body fuses with a rubber uh, boot on it. There's the fuse and there's a spring inside there. So that fuse is always in nice contact with the wires. And the spow fan puts out a lot of air. You can either, the, these, these fans can be push fans or pull fans. If they're pull fans, then you'll be pulling air through the air intake up here. If they're push fans, you'll be pushing air out the air intake. It just depends. If you have a dry bilge and you want to use the heat from the motor to heat your cabin, you can put a, push the air into the cabin. If you have a wet bilge and you want to use dry air, to cool the motor, then you can pull nice dry air out of the cabin and heat the engine compartment. So it's a choice there. But uh, we're gonna keep on moving on here. Go into the lower unit. And you see our motor. This particular motor is water-cooled motor. And we also run with uh, air-cooled open frame motors. And this is a helical gearbox. These helical gearbox have low gear ratios, which are more suited for conversions. So inside here, we have our DC-DC converter, and that's to run the fan or provide power for the 12 volts on board the boat. You'll see a metal enclosure here, which, which provides shielding for the plug for the motor. You'll see the on-off switch body here, very high quality industrial switch with a very nice plug on it. Right here, O-ring sealed as well. You'll see our alarm here. So that's the bottom of the unit. Just fold that back up real quick. And moving right along, we're gonna show the PYI coupling. I find this a very important piece of equipment to have on an electric drive. And the reason is they give you this alignment indicator on this red bolt here. So you can see that. Now you can get your alignment within four thousandths of an inch and any misalignment left over is absorbed by the flexibility of the coupling. So the drivetrain is running true all the time and it's not binding on every revolution. And this is an efficiency issue. So this provides efficiency, which also provides range. And it also protects the bearings, both in the gearbox and on the drivetrain itself from premature wear. So really important component, PYI, we really like this component, used it for many, many years. Going into the, the generator now, you'll notice that we use a Kubota motor. This motor has a radiator on it and is air-cooled. So it's, uh, we put this exhaust on here and then the exhaust comes up and it's protected from heat as it comes through the cabin of the boat. Uh, you can run with dry exhaust on a boat. Lots of fishing boats do. It's less complicated with the grounding system. Or you can take that off, take the radiator out, and run with a heat exchanger, which provides great cooling and is a smaller package as well. So, But we do like the Kubota motor. They've been great motors. There's more Kubota motors made like by Kubota than any other engine manufacturer in the world and uh, parts are available easily at tractor dealerships all around the world and they're very reliable and very efficient motors for a small diesel motor so we really do like Kubota so we we uh, belt drive and you notice we have slots here for cooling but not big enough that you can put your finger in and then we'll pull that down we'll see our belt arrangement in here this provides a little bit of flexibility for the pulsing that occurs with motors, either diesel or electric. It absorbs that pulsing. And uh, 
provides a very efficient way of transferring power from the diesel motor over to the electric motor. We run the same electric motor as a generator head as we do as a propulsion system. So you can have one part for both, both components for crossing an ocean if you want to carry spare parts. So that's, that's our serial hybrid from Electroprop. If you have any questions, let me know. And fair winds and following seas, we'll see you out there. You take care now. Bye for now.